Well, I got my Kindle screen in, uh, Kindle Paperwhite screen, to make this DIY um, front light for my Sharp WGS30. And uh, it's not as good as I thought. Uh, first off, see, I ripped off, I, I guess there was this um, screen protector layer which was actually scratched right here. So, like I feared. There was some scratching on it, but then I removed this and I realized there's actually two layers. So there's this like screen protective layer. And then there's this layer, which I think is the light guide because the LEDs were actually attached to the bottom here. But what I didn't anticipate is I thought it'd be much simpler assembly, but it has like this micro connector at the end of it that controls these LEDs. And uh, I just, I tried to attach some USB leads on there with power and I couldn't get any results from these LEDs and actually uh, I ended up peeling it off because I just was losing hope and, and one of these LEDs kind of popped out as well. So I think this is pretty much done. I'm not going to be able to get light out of these LEDs. Um, so now uh, that's the b main big problem. Um, so what I've done is I ordered um so a strip of led lights from amazon and i'm hoping that so like this right here like this kind of usb attached led strip of lights that i'm gonna try and tape to the bottom here and then cover it up and hopefully the light will go into this corner I have, I have like a handheld flashlight LED in to see if it works. I can't really tell if it's working or not to see if the light is shining in here and actually glowing up. Kind of looks like it is, but it's kind of weak results. So I don't know. I think I need the actual LED strip and then try to rig it in there. Uh, the other problem is this. See, it looks all dimpled and whatnot. And I, I'm pretty sure that's the glue that was uh, basically fixing the this light guide onto the uh, e-ink screen as you can see the bottom here it's totally clear and smooth um, just above that though is it it's just like this gummy residue so I think I'm gonna um, I try to find some nail polish remover here at home I tried um, isopropyl alcohol and it didn't work really I tried scraping it a little bit and I think I scratched a little so I, that that's out of the question. So I think I need to use like nail polish remover which uh, I believe is acetone base and acetone will probably get this off, this residue off. And so once this residue is off, my imagining is that it's going to look clear like this and basically um, it would have to go over, see it right now with this residue on it, it's just you can't see anything through the screen anyway, so that just kind of defeats the purpose. Also, I kind of broke, I don't know if I broke that or the uh, people who took the parts out broke it. And then this was cut like really unevenly too. I don't know why, if that, that's, if that was a manufacturing thing. But either way, I, I do I do have to cut it down as well. I have to cut down this, this screen. So it might be a good, uh, like an okay thing. Not necessarily a good thing, but I just need to cut that edge off. Uh, which I'll do with like a razor or something. Hopefully it doesn't affect the light transmission. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's where I'm at with this DIY project right now. Uh, not exactly going so smoothly, but it's not dead in the water quite yet. Um, so I just need to stick that LED strip on, clear out the residue of this, and basically all this leftover stuff of this... Uh, Kindle paper white screen is good. Just I, I, it's trash, but I usually end up keeping it around just in case. But um, yeah, I just then hopefully I don't crack this. And then actually this 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 screen is a lot more rigid than I thought. I you can I think I can still write through this, but the only problem again is going to be the bottom part where the LED is going to the LEDs have to be external. I can't. I'm not going to disassemble my WGS30 and stick it, try and stick it under. I'm going to stick it over, and then this bottom bevel lip is going to be an issue because the 
the cover, this light guide cover is going to have to go over that. And what happens is that it's going to create a small gap in there where the pen is not going to be able to put pressure onto the screen to write, at least at the bottom part. Um, so when I get closer to actually sticking this on the um, notebook, I'll see... I'll, I'll see more clearly if it's going to prevent the pen from writing at the bottom of the screen. Um, so there's that, and then, um, um, yeah, so uh, those are the challenges I'm facing now with this little project. Um, but I don't know, I, I still have a little hope that it might uh, turn out kind of cool. Um, but I still think this is a better idea than having a big LED just shine light down, which you can buy for the older Kindles that have no backlight, or I mean the, the front light guide. Um, other than that, we'll see how it goes. Uh, my LED strip is coming on Sunday, so uh, once I get that, I'll get going on the rest of this this mod.